da 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 di di da 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 di di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 be my lover wanna be my lover 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 how's it going people what's happening taking the dog for a walk and I was just reading the comments. You know, that's always fun. Reading the comments is fun. Real fun, let me tell you. You know, the overwhelming majority of the people are on my side, which is very heartwarming. Damn, dog. All right, let's go. So... Trying to remember some of the comments that rubbed me the wrong way. Let me tell you though, for all you people who subscribe, message me every day on Messenger, I really, 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 really appreciate that. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. I really, really so like saying really, really, really. But you know, you know how it is. Those negative comments, they stick. And fortunately, I found a way to rebut all the ignoramuses. Like, you people who think you're so clever when you say, Oh, look, John's not wearing a seatbelt. Listen, man, I'm going to have to blur everything in this video. Mm. Da, 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 dee, dee, da, da, da. John's not wearing a seatbelt. Oh my god, right? So, so what? Who is the victim of my crime? Who? So I'm not wearing a seatbelt. So who did I victimize? Who did I damage? What did I do to anybody? Did I do anything to anybody? I don't think so. Who's the one that suffers by my uh, action? Myself? I don't need protection from myself. I never asked for protection from myself. So, who are you protecting? Chew, come on. This way. Come on. So, laws like that, like helmet laws, the guy who got the helmet law repealed for being unconstitutional because blatantly it's unconstitutional. You're under threat of violence, fine, possible imprisonment. You are saying that if you don't put on a helmet, we can take violent action against you, use force against you, fine you if you don't pay us. We, you know, we stop you on the side of the road. Our guys with guns stop you. It's all under threat. So you're saying if I don't do something against my will, that totally contradicts the Constitution. Uh, involuntary servitude. I think that's the 13th Amendment. I don't have to do something against my will. Like, I don't, you can't force me to buy something against my will. But they do it. They force you to buy car insurance. Now, they're forcing you to buy, that's a beautiful poem, they're forcing you to buy uh, health insurance. So, Technically, you can't own your own body. Someone said that on my uh, tax video. I love these Toyota Venzas, man. I don't know why, but I really love these Toyota Venzas. They're big and bulky, maybe because they look like, they kind of look like a bulldog almost, maybe. I don't know. It didn't make any sense. But the thing is, a seatbelt, people say, Oh, he's not wearing a seatbelt. Oh, my God, he's breaking the law. First of all, it's not a law. It's a code. It's complete nonsense. It's what it is. The, the bottom line is, if you don't victimize anybody and you don't damage any property, you're not trespassing or harassing anybody or violating anybody's rights, you should be allowed to travel freely. The dog just tangled me up there. Travel freely amongst the United States. Unmolested by a government. That's the whole idea of America. 
Tell me when I start ranting. Ten minutes ago, right? Where are we at here? Oh, five minutes. I'm not that bad. I've lost time. I was abducted. So the seatbelt. Oh, you don't wear your seatbelt. You say that on my comments. You're an imbecile. I don't like wearing a seatbelt. It's constrictive. It feels like when you put on a t-shirt backwards. That's what it feels like when I wear seatbelts and aprons. I quit a job because they forced me to wear an apron. Even though I worked there for two and a half years without an apron, all of a sudden, ignorant, dumbass, oh, you have to wear an apron. Well, I don't want to. I don't like it. No, too bad. Okay, I quit. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. So that's, you know, that's the cop mentality. Just do it because I said so. Regardless if it's constitutional. What else do I hear that's really ignorant on the comments? If you were black, if you were black or white privilege. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but police are pretty equal opportunity. You know, they look at you as a, they, as a score. They, when they, when they hem you up, it's a score for them. It makes them look good as a department. So they have no motivation to follow the Constitution or their oath to the Constitution. They have no obligation. Their department wants them to score arrests. Shoot, you're going the wrong way. Wrong way. No, no, no. So, where was I? Seatbelts. Helmets. Yeah, so someone commented on my, on my tax video saying that you can't even own yourself because they force you under threat to buy health insurance. I'm not, I'm just realizing now that I'm holding the camera how many times this dog makes me pirouette while I'm walking her. So what else? Helmets, seat belts. By the way, there are exemptions for seat belts, medical exemptions. So just assuming everyone has to wear a seat belt because of code, even that's wrong. Oh, uh, and the guy who got the helmet law repealed, I believe, actually died in a motorcycle accident not wearing a helmet. Well, while it might be stupid not to wear a helmet or a seatbelt, or less safe, that's what freedom is. You have the right to be stupid. You can't legis you cannot legislate away stupidity. Just ask Shane Archambault. Just ask him. <laughs> um, what else? What else? If you were black. Oh, yeah. If you were black. That's another one I hear all the time. If you were black, you would have been shot. If you were black, this. There's a guy named Trice Razul on uh, YouTube. I think his name is Oklahoma City Cop Lock. He's black. He's very black. If that's even a thing. He's just very dark complected. He walks up to police stations. And he's armed with knowledge. He knows his, his uh, court case. He knows his case. He's way, he does this way better than I do. I do this by accident. Everything you see me doing on the streets is just reactionary, impulsive, uncalculated. I just fly off the rails. And that's probably why you guys are so entertained by it. But this guy is calm, calculated. He knows his case law. He's black. And I believe he makes money doing this. Yeah, I'm filming the street because I don't want to get too many street signs in there. I'm going to have to blur them all. So, where was I? So, Trice Razul, Oklahoma City Cop Block, for all you people who say, if he was black. And then you got another guy, his name is Joe Citizen Ho. When I write that in the comments, it probably sounds like I'm saying Joe Citizen, you ho. But his actual name is Joe Citizen Ho. Another black guy, he takes zero Fs, zero S's from any police and he puts them in their place and he's black and he's still black and he's still alive both of them and andre rocks he's fighting the system he actually goes to the courthouses by the way i should be talking to him on the phone here soon probably get a follow-up on his case uh what i'm understanding so far is that he got arrested for resistant obstruction while never committing a crime in the first place. And then he's not been charged yet. I'm like, so you've been arrested but not charged. 
And he's like, yeah, that's weird. So now he's putting pressure. He's having big meetups at the courthouse, which is great. He's got a couple congressional candidates on his side. He's got a good lawyer, Steve Bartlett, I believe his name is. And what else? I'm going to be calling him. Well, where was I? Yeah, there was a third one. Andre Rocks. There's another one, too. I'm trying to think of them all offhand, but there's plenty of uh, black people, Hispanic people. Jose, uh, Padilla. Another one, Padilla. He's Hispanic. He's alive. Come on, people. Stop being so ignorant. You commoners, man. The thing is, they won't ever see this because it's not the 7 million view video like the one they like to comment on. They just watch one video. They decide that I'm a scumbag with no life because guys with guns stop me, the peaceful trap. That's, that, that's, that, that's, that's what really pisses me off. Think about this, people, because either I live an upside-down world or they live an upside-down world because let's talk about reality here, okay? John, the peaceful person who's never harmed anyone in his life, never been arrested for anything, doesn't bother anybody unless he's bothered, okay? That would be me. I'm in my Hyundai. I'm traveling down the road in a straight line with my cruise control set. I am unarmed and not bothering anyone, okay? That's the truth. That's the facts. That's the reality. Now, an armed man wearing a costume and a gun and a taser and a baton and a bulletproof vest decides that John, the unarmed peaceful traveler, is some type of threat to society. So he believes in his religion of violence that now he gets to impede my freedom that I was guaranteed under the Constitution and steal money from my family because the money he steals, look at this truck, the money he steals from my family will make America safer somehow. And again, I'm the threat, even though he's the guy with the gun, baton, taser, pepper spray. He's the one armed with the weapons with his hand on the gun. I was the guy traveling to work in a peaceful manner in a straight line, not bothering a soul. So that's the reality. Now, if you're taking the police side, the armed man side, forget that they're police. It's a man. You always like to say they're just people like us. Okay. So he's another man. I'm the unarmed peaceful traveler in a straight line with no guns, not bothering anybody. He's a man with many weapons hiding on the, on the roadside looking to take money from peaceful travelers going to work. I didn't bother anyone. I don't have any weapons. I didn't brandish any arms. I didn't have my hand on any gun. It was the other way around. And if you don't understand that, then I, I believe that you live in an upside down world. Because that's the reality. A peaceful person versus a non-peaceful person. Which one are you? Do you condone the violence of police? Or do you condone the peaceful travel of the American citizen? Think about it. Thanks for watching.